For four and a half billion years, Earth has been spinning steadily. Earth was made from rubble, the leftover of the sun. The mass of rubble has been circling the sun, as water does around the plug hole when you empty a bathtub, spinning as it went. And it keeps spinning as there is hardly anything to stop it. If you spin a roundabout in a playground and let go, it will eventually stop. The Earth is spinning in space, which is pretty much empty. There is not even air to push against and slow down the Earth's spin. The only thing that could stop the Earth's spin would be if another planet crashed into it. Even if this happened, it would most likely change how it spins, not lock it altogether. Other than planet collisions, moons also slow down the Earth's spin. The motion of the side of the Earth facing the moon is not balanced perfectly by gravity, and neither is the side of the Earth facing away from the moon. The imbalance is what creates ocean tides, which make the oceans bulge out on either side of the Earth. These bulges move across the Earth's surface like a wave as it spins, pushing against the Earth's spin, and this slows down the Earth's spin. Ergo, Earth's day lengthens by one second every 50,000 years. You heard it right, our spinning Earth is slowing down. Billions of years in the past, the faster spinning Earth had a bigger bulge around the equator. And billions of years in the future, the slowed down Earth will have a smaller bulge and will be closer to a sphere. Ever wondered why we have to add an extra second to our clocks every 500 days? Well, now you have your answer. Earth is not going to stop now or in a few billion years, but for this mental experiment, we're going to assume it happened. And chaos is now here. You wouldn't just be launched off into space if Earth stopped spinning. While gravity would still keep you firmly on the ground, there are a lot of worse things that will happen to you. You could be thrown off your feet and sent flying across the planet. If you luckily dodge the blow, what happens next will be even more of a nightmare. You'd be moving along with giant storms and humongous waves. All while heavy debris is being sent flying across in all directions. Everything would go careening in an easterly direction across the surface until friction finally numbs it down. While this might sound made up, if you were at either of the poles, you would have no idea that the Earth stopped spinning at first. This is because you won't have any angular momentum at these locations. It sounds surprising, but the marks of such an incredible event occurring so abruptly would cause nothing short of annihilation. Everything that's not firmly fixed to the bedrock would be displaced if Earth's spinning motion came to a sudden stop. And we've got reasons to back this up. Despite the Earth's spin stopping, the atmosphere would keep up with its original speed, 1100 miles per hour. So the atmosphere would lift and sweep away everything that's not firmly attached to the bedrock. Huge rocks, topsoil, buildings, vehicles, and even your beloved television. The phrase down to Earth just makes so much more sense. While it might not be sudden and as dramatic, Earth is bound to lose its ability to spin over a long period. To start, a day as we know it would be altered. Earth takes 24 hours to spin, which causes every creature here to experience day and night. The Earth turning to the sun in the day and the moon at night has gone on and on, forming weeks, years, and millennia. Almost everything we are and we do relies upon this singular event. There's always a tomorrow, no matter what. But if Earth numbed the spinning, what it accomplishes in a single day might eventually take a year to complete. We'd be living a life like they do in the poles. Countries on the side facing the sun would experience daylight for six months, while those living on the side facing away from the sun would experience a six-month night. There would be lots of changes, though. If the still Earth continued to orbit the sun as it does, we'd have days lasting half a year, and the same for night. It could warm up much more during the day and cool down much more during the night. This would entirely flip the climate on Earth. The temperature gap between day and night would cause strong winds, and warm air would have a seat on the cooler nighttime side of the Earth. Cold polar regions would warm up with wind from warm regions coming in. All this does not happen on a spinning Earth because the wind is deflected sideways. The eastwards and westwards winds, and the winds toward the poles, would call the shots to create huge swirls of wind the size of entire continents. Molten iron fills up the core of the Earth. Earth's spinning motion turns this molten iron into a magnet and delivers the Earth into a magnetic field. 
The magnetic field shields us from harmful radiation coming from particles from the sun and cosmic rays from outside the solar system. The magnetic field hits the Earth's atmosphere and we see it as the northern and southern lights as they are. No rotation means no magnetic field, and without the magnetic field reaching the Earth, these majestic lights would slip away. What's worse, without the magnetic field, the radiation from the sun would reach the Earth's surface and affect people's health. If the Earth didn't spin, you would always be looking out into space in the same direction. We'd have to look at the night sky with the same constellations of stars every day. We're used to seeing the stars rise and set during the night and seeing different constellations at different times of the year. So adjusting to the same sky for the rest of our lives would be tough. A sudden pause on the Earth's spin certainly wouldn't stop seasons from occurring entirely, but it would have a marginal impact on how they behave. Right now, we have a very smooth transition between various seasons, but the absence of our planet's spin wouldn't be so comfortable, mostly for regions lying on the equator. Cities would have fiery summers along the equator, while the areas facing away from the sun would face deadly winters. This would certainly cause a tremendous change in the lives of humans and oblige many of us to succumb to these extremes. As for animals and other creatures, it would be even tougher, as they would have a very hard time surviving in those conditions without any external aid, and they usually don't have it. If it slowed down over several years, it would still be a disaster. The oceans would move toward the poles, dropping ocean depth by 8 kilometers around the equator without centrifugal force. Earth's water would be divided into two huge polar oceans, separated by a belt of land in the middle since there is less than the depth of the ocean there. Everything north of Spain would be underwater, as well as all of Antarctica. The central continent would get the hottest, and all kinds of lakes and rivers would boil away to vapor and be blown to the poles by fierce winds. We'd have to be living a primitive life along a narrow strip at the coast, since that's the only way to survival. Despite all of these having chances of coming true, it's not going to happen anytime soon. It won't happen for millions or even billions of years. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for future updates.